next. NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. This journey begins at a place where no one thought to look, the outer edge of our solar system. When NASA's Voyager spacecraft reached this unexplored frontier, it found something entirely unexpected. At the helipause, the boundary where the sun's influence fades into the vast emptiness of interstellar space, both probes detected a mysterious superheated zone. Far from being a simple boundary, this region, at temperatures of up to 50,000 Kelvin, is a dynamic, shifting space formed by the collision of cosmic forces. In this video, we'll uncover what the Voyagers discovered, how they survived, and what this tells us about the real limits of the Sun's reach. The Solar System's True Boundary The Solar System is far more expansive than the area marked by the planets we know. It stretches outward, encapsulated by the heliosphere, a vast bubble of charged particles streaming from the Sun. This constant flow, known as the solar wind, pushes outwards in all directions, creating a protective shield that extends far beyond Pluto. But eventually, the solar wind encounters a completely different environment, the cold, sparse material of the interstellar medium, which drifts between stars. This meeting point, where the solar wind slows down and interacts with the interstellar medium, is called the helopause. It's not a physical barrier, but rather a transition zone where two forces collide, creating a region of intense energy and surprising heat. The sun's particles slow down as they encounter the cooler material from space, creating a dramatic shift in the properties of the surrounding environment. The boundary itself is not fixed. It fluctuates depending on the sun's activity. During solar maximum, the sun pushes outward, expanding the heliosphere. In contrast, during solar minimum, it contracts inward, making the helopause a dynamic and ever-changing feature of our solar system's edge. Voyager's Journey Beyond NASA's Voyager spacecraft were the pioneers in crossing the threshold of our solar system. Voyager 1 made history in August 2012 when it became the first human-made object to reach interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in November 2018, completing its own journey into the unknown. Although their paths were different, with Voyager 1 traveling approximately 18 billion kilometers farther from Earth, both spacecraft recorded remarkably similar findings. As they crossed the helipause, the data they gathered revealed something unexpected a sudden and dramatic increase in particle temperature. This spike reached a staggering 50,000 Kelvin, far hotter than anything encountered within the familiar bounds of our solar system. However, it wasn't the kind of heat we feel on Earth. Instead of measuring heat in the traditional sense, the Voyagers were detecting the energy levels of charged particles in the environment. This discovery defied expectations, the temperature wasn't caused by heat in a conventional way, but was a result of the dynamic interactions between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. The findings from both voyagers reinforced a surprising consistency, suggesting that despite the vast distances involved, the boundary between the solar wind and interstellar space is a much more complex and active region than previously thought. The Nature of the Helipause The helipause is not a rigid, fixed boundary, but rather a fluid, shifting region that fluctuates in response to the Sun's activity. It acts as a dynamic interface between two vastly different environments, the hot, charged solar wind and the cold, sparse interstellar medium. As the solar wind travels outward, it gradually loses energy until it encounters the opposing pressure of the interstellar material. This interaction creates a zone where the solar wind slows down, compresses, and even turns, resulting in a dramatic change in particle behavior. The sun's activity plays a crucial role in determining the shape and size of the heliosphere. During solar maxima, when the sun is more active and its solar wind is stronger, 
the heliosphere expands, pushing the helopause outward. In contrast, during solar minima, when solar activity decreases, the solar wind weakens and the boundary contracts. This constant change makes the helopause a flexible region, constantly shifting as the sun's behavior changes over time. What's fascinating is that this boundary is not a solid, permanent feature. It is a fluid transition zone where the solar wind and the interstellar medium meet and interact, creating a dynamic environment that challenges traditional notions of how we think about boundaries in space. Plasma Physics at the Helipause The surprising heat at the helipause can be explained through the principles of plasma physics. At this boundary, the solar wind, composed of charged particles, collides with the interstellar medium. Since there is no air or matter in the traditional sense to facilitate heat transfer, the energy at the helipause doesn't come from thermal conduction, as we might expect. Instead, the heat is generated by the interaction of charged particles through electromagnetic forces. As the solar wind meets the interstellar medium, the pressure builds up, and the magnetic fields from both regions become compressed. This interaction can result in magnetic reconnection, where the magnetic fields snap and rearrange in bursts of energy. These bursts, known as collisionless shocks, occur when charged particles rapidly change direction, creating sudden temperature spikes. These shocks, while not involving the direct collision of matter, can generate significant heating due to the energy released during the reconnection process. This process illustrates the unique nature of the boundary at the helopause. There's no traditional physical barrier, yet the interaction of charged particles and magnetic fields creates a high-energy environment. The Voyager's data revealed this fascinating phenomenon, shedding light on the fundamental forces that govern space at the edge of our solar system. Now, first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Magnetic Field Mystery One of the most intriguing discoveries from the Voyager missions was the behavior of magnetic fields at the helopause. As both spacecraft crossed this boundary, they found that the magnetic fields inside the heliosphere aligned closely with those outside it in the interstellar medium. This contradicted earlier models, which had predicted that the magnetic field would shift direction once the Voyagers left the Sun's influence and entered interstellar space. Initially, with just Voyager 1's data, some scientists speculated that this alignment might have been a coincidence. However, when Voyager 2 crossed the helopause and recorded the same magnetic field alignment, this theory was disproven. The two magnetic fields, originating from vastly different sources, one from the Sun and the other from the galactic environment, appeared to be interconnected, suggesting a continuous and more complex magnetic system than previously believed. This discovery raises new questions about the Sun's influence on its surroundings. It suggests that the Sun's magnetic field may extend further into interstellar space than we thought, influencing the galactic environment in ways that could impact space weather, cosmic rays, and the behavior of nearby stars. This shift in understanding challenges our models of solar wind interactions and invites further investigation into how the Sun and its magnetic field interact with the broader galaxy. Consequences for Space, Weather, and Astronomy Understanding the dynamics of the helopause has significant implications for space weather and astronomy. The heliosphere plays a crucial role in protecting Earth and its space technology from harmful galactic cosmic rays. These high-energy particles pose a threat to satellites, astronauts, and even Earth's atmosphere. The strength of the heliosphere directly influences its ability to deflect these particles. During solar maximum, when the sun is more active, the heliosphere expands, providing stronger protection against cosmic rays. During solar minimum, the heliosphere contracts, leaving Earth more vulnerable. 
Understanding the shifting nature of the helipause helps scientists predict changes in radiation levels, which could impact Earth and space infrastructure. This new understanding also offers astronomers fresh insights into stellar environments. By studying the Sun's interactions with the interstellar medium, scientists can refine their models of solar wind and better understand how stars influence their surroundings in the galaxy. Future Exploration Beyond the Helipause As the Voyagers continue their journey beyond the Sun's influence, their mission provides us with the first glimpse into interstellar space. However, the full picture is still far from complete. While the spacecraft have ventured into this uncharted territory, they are still encountering varying gradients in plasma density, magnetic pressure, and cosmic ray intensity revealing that interstellar space is not uniform. This suggests that the space between stars may contain more boundaries, waves, or structures yet to be discovered. NASA's upcoming missions, like the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, IMAP, launching in 2025, will help fill these gaps. IMAP will map the heliosphere's boundary by detecting energetic neutral atoms from the helipause, offering a broader view. Furthermore, concepts like the interstellar probe, which would venture up to 1,000 astronomical units, promise a clearer understanding of what lies beyond and how the interstellar medium behaves. This next wave of exploration will bring us closer to unlocking the true nature of our solar system's boundary. The Voyager missions have provided us with groundbreaking insights into the true nature of our solar system's edge. What once seemed like a static boundary is revealed to be a dynamic, shifting region that challenges our understanding of space. From temperature spikes to magnetic field alignments, the data collected has transformed how we view the Sun's influence and its interactions with the interstellar medium. As new missions like IMAP push the limits of exploration, the Voyager's legacy will continue to shape our understanding of the vast, mysterious space beyond our solar system. The journey into the unknown is far from over.